Muy buenos días, bienvenidos a todos. Eh, me, llamo, me llamo Samuel Wicks, yo soy organizador de inquilinos. Yo trabajo por vecinos ayudando a vecinos. Para nosotros es un, este, es un placer mío para ser maestro de ceremonias hoy eh, para esta rueda de prensa. Este, para empezar, nos gustaría dar las gracias al concejal, el señor Carlos Menchaca, también al Dan Wiley eh, de la oficina de la congresista Nidia Velázquez, también al Anthony Droman desde la oficina del eh, presidente del Boro, este, Eric Adams, y también este, para la presencia de la defensora pública, la Tish James. Pero sobre todo, me gustaría dar las gracias y agradecer a la Asociación de Inquilinos de 430, la calle 61, y nosotros aplaudimos su coraje en confrontar los supuestos abusos que han sufrido por hace muchos años en este momento. El fin de esta rueda de prensa es para poner fin a, estos, a estas supuestas violaciones de los, de los derechos humanos de los inquilinos de este edificio. Y por último, para todos los inquilinos a través de la ciudad de Nueva York y más allá de esta ciudad. Eh, favor de acompañarnos en este momento para algunos eh, cantos de solidaridad para esta causa. Good morning, everyone. My name is Samuel Wicks. I am the tenant organizer with Neighbors Helping Neighbors. It is my pleasure to be MC of today's ceremony, today's press conference. I would like to thank, and we would like to thank, at Neighbors Helping Neighbors the following individuals for their participation in this morning's meeting. Councilman Carlos Menchaca, from the office of Congress, Congresswoman Nidia Velasquez, Dan Wiley, from the office of the Borough President, Eric Adams, Anthony Drummond, and the public advocate, Tish James. Most of all, we would like to thank the Tenant Association of 430 61st Street, and we applaud their courage in confronting the alleged abuses they have endured for so long and for so many years. The goal of this press conference is to put an end to these alleged violations of their human rights, uh, not only for the tenants of this building, but for all tenants throughout the city of New York and beyond. We ask that you please now join us in some chants of solidarity for this cause. Please repeat after me, favor de repetir. The tenants, united, will never be defeated. 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 Very nice, okay. We're gonna do each one three times. The next one, what do we want? No more harassment. When do we want it? Now. now. What do we want? No more harassment. When do we want it? Now. now. What do we want? No more harassment. When do we want it? Now. Now. Fight. 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 Housing is a right. Fight. Fight. Housing is a right. Fight. Fight. Housing is a right. Housing is a right. ¿Qué queremos? Justicia. ¿Cuándo lo queremos? Ahora. ¿Qué queremos? Justicia. Justicia. ¿Cuándo lo queremos? Ahora. ¿Qué queremos? Justicia. ¿Cuándo la queremos? Ahora. Aquí estamos. Aquí nos quedaremos. Aquí estamos. Aquí nos vamos. Aquí estamos y aquí nos quedamos. Aquí estamos y aquí nos quedamos. Inquilinos unidos jamás serán vencidos. Inquilinos unidos jamás serán vencidos. Inquilinos unidos jamás serán vencidos. Y la próxima, the next one. Su Fong Dong. Escucha, estamos en la lucha. Su Fong Dong. Escucha, 
Estamos en la lucha. Su Fong Dong. Escucha. Estamos en la lucha. Ok. Bueno, en este momento me gustaría in, eh, presentar al señor Felix Mesa. I'm going to introduce now a tenant of this building. His name is Felix Mesa. Hi, right, good morning. My name is Felix Mesa Jr. I'm representing my grandmother, Norma Fontanez. Yeah, the landlord be following us. Like, I be trying to come upstairs and she be like, you don't live here. And I'm like, what do you mean, you know? That's not right. Like, everybody deserves their rights to live in the building without being harassed, you know? And then she be telling all my friends, like, oh, you can't chill in the front. Like, we're not doing nothing bad. We're not hurting nobody, you know what I mean? We're just doing our stuff, having fun, and she just wants to come and bother everybody. So it's like, whatever, you know? All right. Nice to meet you. Have a good day. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Felix. Uh, thanks, for, thanks very much for your bravery and courage speaking today. Okay, uh, next we'd like to invite um, Samantha Bravo. Eh, la próxima participante es la Samantha Bravo. Bienvenida, welcome. Uh, good morning, my name is Samantha Bravo. Uh, for a minute, imagine yourself in your home about to fall asleep when there is a knock at the door at 10 o'clock at night. You open the door and see a woman handing you a, paper, a letter that states that you must leave your home in three weeks. What would you feel? Would you feel scared, sad, worried, or would you panic? What about staying in your home in protest? I don't need to imagine myself in this situation or feeling these things because this such situation happened to me. I, wor I worried that my, mo my mom and dad would make us leave by force or by fear. When I told my mom, I thought, she said that they weren't going to surrender because of a letter representing a threat by the landlord. When the landlord comes, I panic because I remember the day when she came storming in my home and screamed and cursed at my dad. I also remember my little brother Nathan run into our bedroom and cry, and my dad calling the police and asking the landlord to leave, who was still cursing at him. The landlord also insults and screams at my mom, since she and my dad report to 311 that there is no heat and no hot water in the, in the winter. Because of no heat, my little brother Nathan got pneumonia, and since I have asthma, it made it hard for me and my brother to breathe. The landlord also told my mom that if she keeps making 311 reports, she should just go to Manhattan to live. I, should, I sometimes hear the landlord scream at, my, at the tenants and see the landlord talk, talk to the kids from the block. Their faces filled with fear. But with the help of Neighbors Helping Neighbors and Urban Justice Center, they taught my family, my neighbors, and I to fight for our right to live in a stabilized apartment. Many people feel sorry for us when they hear our situation, but they should feel sorry for the tenants who don't fight for their rights and keep quiet and admire us for defending ourselves. Enough is enough. Kids can make a difference. Once again, thank you so much, Neighbors Helping Neighbors and Urban Justice Center. No more harassment. We are learning and getting organized for our future. Don't forget the kids. Now I'll present to the concejal, Mr. Carlos Menchaca. I uh, now introduce uh, uh, Councilman uh, Carlos Menchaca. Thank you. Buenos días a todos. Estamos aquí unidos en un mensaje que lo que está pasando aquí. Necesita parar. I'm Carlos Menchaca, I'm a New York City Council member. I represent this beautiful, amazing community, this Latino community, this Chinese community, this immigrant community, working class community. We are a very diverse community here. And what you heard today from Samantha Bravo, you might have heard of her before. She's been in front of boards before defending not only her family, but the multiple families that are experiencing, not just here, but across Sunset Park. If you listen to her words, you heard fear, or by force, scared, panic. These are not things that our kids should be feeling at all anywhere. This is what we're trying to do, is to elevate this issue right now with these families that are experiencing this discrimination right here, right now, in Sunset Park. This is a message we're trying to send across the entire city that landlords cannot get away by discriminating against folks before they even come in, 
discriminating against residents while they're in their own apartments or walking through their halls. That's why we're here today. And I want you to hear from more families today so you understand exactly what we're trying to do here. Neighbors Helping Neighbors and Urban Justice Center have been working day and night to try to get the landlord to listen. Every attempt that has been made has been met with silence. But well, we are here to not be silent. We are here to raise the voices of this community. And so I'm here and proud to be representing this community right now and for all the families that are experiencing this today. Gentrification is alive and well, and these are the little things that make and define what we're talking about when we talk about gentrification. And we have beautiful and amazing landlords here, and I see some of them right here right now that are homeowners and apartment owners and that are good landlords. This is a bad one, and you will be called out every single time. Every single time. In español, les quiero decir también que es un derecho humano tener vivienda segura, sin discriminación, que es base en etnicidad. Y estamos aquí con ustedes porque merecemos algo bueno. Y lo que está pasando aquí con gentrification tiene que parar. Y lo estamos aquí porque este es tipo de, de cosa que está pasando con los inquilinos que viven aquí en Sunset Park. Y ya basta con eso. Estamos aquí. You will be called out and we'll call you out every single time. Thank you so much. Ahora les presento a la abogada que está tratando este caso y está trabajando con estos inquilinos. Ella se llama Rini Fonseca. I'd like to introduce the uh, lawyer who is currently working with the tenants of this building. Uh, we are so thankful for her help and all of her endeavors. Her name is Rini Fonseca. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Rini Fonseca Sabuni. I'm a staff attorney and Skadden Fellow at the Urban Justice Center. It is my privilege to represent these courageous tenants at 430 61st Street. They came here, they, Neighbors Helping Neighbors came to us, and we couldn't believe what we were hearing about the conditions and about the treatment. But we came and we met with them, and they today are taking a stand, and they today are saying, no more, no more harassment. These tenants are hardworking immigrants, they are parents, they are grandparents, they came to this country from Latin America, from Spain, and they are here and they work every day. Some of these tenants have lived here for 37 years. Some of these children, Samantha has lived here her entire life. This is her home. They have a right to live in peace and tranquility in their homes. They have a right to live without harassment each day. And they're here not just for themselves, but for their neighbors, for the community of Sunset Park, and for people like them all over New York City. Today, they say no more. They have the right to live in safety, in peace, and in tranquility, and they will work to make those rights felt each day. Thank you. Uh, ahora me gustaría presentar este, a la Nora Huertero también, es inquilina de este edificio. Y I'd like to now introduce Nora Huertero, she is a tenant of this building. Buenos días, mi nombre es Nora Huertero. Sin calefacción o agua caliente durante el invierno, son una de las pocas cosas de acoso por parte de la dueña hacia nosotros. Llamadas amenazantes, gritos y golpes a la puerta para que no reportemos la falta de servicios básicos de calefacción y agua caliente. Me decía a gritos que si no me gustara, que me fuera. Nueve años con los mismos problemas. Empecé a tener insomnio y dolor de cabeza. No sentía paz ni mi propio hogar. Prefería estar trabajando a llegar a casa para no encontrarme con la dueña. En marzo 7 tocaron a la puerta para decirnos que teníamos un caso de desalojo. Ver la cara de angustia de mi hija Preguntarme, preguntándome si nos teníamos que ir, fue uno de los motivos para decir que ya basta de tanto acoso y discriminación hacia nosotros. A muchos el miedo los paralizó, a nosotros nos impulsó a buscar ayuda. Teníamos que defender nuestros derechos para que nuestros hijos aprendieran que no se puede permitir ningún tipo de acoso o e injusticia. La organización Vecinos Ayudando a Vecinos 
nos empezó a enseñar nuestros derechos como inquilinos. Tenemos que defender nuestro hogar, acomodar el lugar. Tengo que demostrarle a mis hijos que no se puede vivir con los contrastes gritos y acosos por parte de la dueña. Urban Justice Center empezó a defender nuestros derechos y está luchando para que sigamos viviendo en un edificio digno de, y fuera de acoso por parte de la dueña. Empezamos a unirnos en el edificio, en un edificio que solo nos conocíamos de cara, con un hola y un adiós. Hoy todos nos conocemos de nombre y nos empezamos a unir y a defender nuestros derechos con ayuda de vecinos, ayudando a vecinos y Urban Justice Center. Queremos mostrarle a la comunidad, no solo de Son Sempar, sino todo Nueva York, que la unidad hace la diferencia. Si hay ayuda, solo hay que buscarla. Nosotros estamos luchando porque ya basta de tanta discriminación y acoso por parte de los dueños. Merecemos vivir en viviendas dignas, libres de acoso y amenazas. Nosotros estamos muy agradecidos con vecinos, ayudando a vecinos y Urban Justice Center por organizarnos. Los conformistas no hacen nada, permite todo. Nosotros como edificios queremos hacer la diferencia. Luchemos juntos por la vivienda libre de acoso. Unidos lo lograremos. Gracias. Ahora les presento eh, al señor Dan Wiley, que representa a la oficina de la congresista Nidia Velasquez. I now present to you Dan Wiley from the office of Congresswoman Nidia Velasquez. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here on behalf of Congresswoman Nidia Velasquez, who represents this area as well as parts of the Lower East Side and Queens. And I just wanted to say on behalf of Congresswoman Velasquez, she stands with these families. These families have lived in this neighborhood much of their lives. And the people that bought this building, they're, ca they're carpetbaggers. How dare, how dare someone who buys this building makes people who have lived here most of their lives feel that they are not welcome and this is not their home. From Congresswoman Velasquez, she's been fighting for tenants on the Bowery on the Lower East Side. We've seen the same kind of landlord abuses in Ridgewood, Queens, and we see it unfortunately here in Sunset Park. But we are so proud to have strong community-based organizations like Neighbors Helping Neighbors, like the Urban Justice Center, and the lawyers who stand behind and assist the community who are united. So on behalf of Congresswoman Velasquez, we're going to keep up the fight. And she has introduced the Landlord Accountability Act in June, which would hold landlords accountable for their actions in harassing tenants in order to try to make a buck. And that's just not fair. So thank you on behalf of Congresswoman Velasquez and all of you, and particularly Samantha, for her leadership. I think we're looking at a future president of the United States right here. Ahora les quiero presentar este, a una de nuestras capitanas del edificio, la señora Minerva. I'd like to present uh, one of our tenant captains from this building, uh, Minerva. Buenos días. El propósito de esta rueda de prensa es para aquellos dueños de casa que dejen de estar amenazando a los inquilinos del edificio o mandando a las personas que vayan para su país. El edificio Hemos tenido que pasar frío o la falta de agua caliente. La Asociación de Inquilinos Unidos luchan por los derechos humanos. Hoy se encuentran con nosotros las personas que nos han ayudado y a muchas personas más. Únase a nosotros que todos unidos venceremos. Gracias. Ahora les quiero presentar este, al señor eh, Anthony Drummond. Está presente. Anthony Drummond? Oh, no? Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, a, a great colleague of mine, someone who is a hard worker. Her name is Aura Mejia. It's a pleasure to introduce her. Ahora les presento a una buena trabajadora y una buenísima colega, la señora Aura Mejia. My name is Saura Mejia, I'm a tenant organizer at Neighbors Helping Neighbors, and I just want to um, applaud, I admire these tenants from the, this tenant association for coming out 
and leaving their fear behind and uh, coming out and saying everything that is happening in this building. These uh, tenants have suffered for so many years the harassment from the landlord, uh, telling them that, they, that she's going to call immigration to go back to their countries, uh, not providing heat and hot water. Um, and calling the police when they try to organize and uh, uh, be uh, have a meeting for the tenant association in the building. Uh, the landlord gets very furious when they call uh, HPD to file complaints and uh, DACR to file complaints about the, the conditions in the, in the apartments. But they're very, very brave, they stand together and they are uh, they now being represented by urban justice and fighting for their rights. Thank you. Ahora les quiero presentar este, a la jefa mía, este, la Marcela Mitaines. I introduce Marcela Mitaines, and I just want everyone to know that she is the one who started organizing in this building uh, some years ago. Uh, Marcela Mitaines. Thank you. Uh, thank you everyone for coming here and joining us. You've heard repeatedly the harassment that the tenants have been facing. Uh, gracias a todos por estar aquí. Um, ustedes han escuchado repetidamente los diferentes tipos de acosos que han, uh, han pasado los inquilinos. Um, it's very important to understand why this is happening. And this is, as was mentioned also before, this is a direct effect of the gentrification that is currently happening in Sunset Park. Esto no es uh, coincidencia. Este tipo de acoso está pasando porque el vecindario de nosotros está cambiando. Está pasando una gentrificación y está pasando en toda parte de Brooklyn y toda parte de Nueva York. The gentrification is happening all over Brooklyn and all over New York City. The displacement pressures are being exasperated because of the speculation of the rise in property values. La presión de desalojar a los inquilinos es por la especulación de la el valor de las propiedades y cómo van a subir. Gentrification is causing an incentive for these landlords to try to convert these affordable units into market rate apartments. La gentrificación es la incentiva que tienen estos propietarios para cambiar estos apartamentos accesibles a apartamentos a la marqueta libre. Han escuchado esto repetidamente también. Es un miedo que causa el acoso. Fear is a result of the harassment, and fear can be very paralyzing. El miedo puede afectar a uno al punto de paralizarlo. Pero hay opciones, there's options, y hay ayudas, and there's help. Lo más importante es educarnos como inquilinos. The most important thing is to educate ourselves like tenants, and to stand up and fight, y pararnos y pelear. Vivienda debe ser un derecho humano. Housing should be a basic human right. To the tenants that are out there, and I know there's many, many more facing harassment that are afraid, now is the time to stand up. Now is the time to band together. Para los inquilinos que están allá, y yo sé que hay muchos que viven en miedo, ahora es el tiempo de parar y ahora es el tiempo de paliar. No están solos. You are not alone. We have to do this together. Tenemos que hacer esto juntos. Gracias. Thank you. Jamás serán vencidos. Inquilinos, unidos. Jamás serán vencidos. Inquilinos, unidos. Jamás serán vencidos. Unidos, jamás serán vencidos. I'd now like to end the press conference by introducing um, David Powell, who is the director of the organizing and advocacy uh, branch or arm of Fifth Avenue Committee. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'll keep it brief because I think the speakers have really covered it, particularly the tenants who have spoken to the harassment that they have experienced directly. Um, I just want to re-emphasize what my colleagues at Neighbors Helping Neighbors and at Urban Justice Center have said which is that this human rights complaint that has been filed against the landlord is a message to all landlords in Sunset Park and all landlords in Brooklyn that this behavior will not be tolerated. We will not tolerate, uh, uh, we will not tolerate harassment. We will not tolerate discrimination. We will not tolerate 
jokes or threats of calling ICE. We will not tolerate our kids being pushed off the stoops. This is serious, and as we have seen in the last couple of days, in the last couple of weeks, if you're a landlord that treats your tenants this way, you will end up in handcuffs and you will be taken to jail for that. And that's what we're going for with this complaint. We will call you out. We will call you out. Thank you. No mas acoso! 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 No más acoso. No más acoso. Basta ya. Basta ya con el acoso y las violaciones de los derechos humanos. Gracias a por, por todos por su participación en la rueda de prensa hoy. Thanks to everyone for your participation in the press conference today. Stop the abuses. Stop the violations of human rights and discrimination.